You've probably been hearing all the hype about ChatGPT, Gemini, and Claude getting smarter every month. But here's what nobody's talking about. Elon Musk just delayed the most ambitious AI model ever attempted, and the reason why might surprise you. I've been tracking Grok 5's development for months, and what I found changes everything we thought we knew about the AI race. Turns out, building something with a 10% chance of achieving actual AGI isn't just about throwing more GPUs at the problem. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts with our free weekly newsletter. Click the link in the description below to subscribe. You will get the key AI news, tools, and learning resources to stay ahead. So in this video, I'm breaking down everything we know about Grok 5, the delayed release timeline, why it's using 200,000 GPUs, drawing enough power to run a small city, and how it stacks up against GPT 5.2, Gemini 3, and Claude 4 5. By the end, you'll understand whether this massive bet on scale is the future of AI or just an incredibly expensive gamble. Let's start with the timeline shift that's got everyone in the AI community talking. When is Grok 5 actually coming? Here's where things get interesting. Grok 5 was originally supposed to drop by the end of 2025. That deadline, gone. We're now looking at Q1 2026, somewhere between January and March. And this isn't just a minor scheduling hiccup. According to multiple reports from December 2025, XAI CEO Elon Musk himself confirmed the delay in a recent interview. He's been pretty transparent about this, saying that if XAI can just survive and keep progressing through this period, they could easily surpass the competition. That's a bold claim, but it also reveals something crucial. The engineering challenges they're facing are massive. Think about it this way. When a company delays a product by months in the AI world, where things move at lightning speed, it's usually because they've hit a wall that can't be solved by just working harder. They're trying to do something that's never been done before at this scale. In the meantime, XAI isn't just sitting around. They're continuing to iterate on the existing Grok series. There's reportedly a Grok 4.2 milestone in the pipeline, and they're massively expanding their computing infrastructure to support what's coming. Which brings us to the really mind-blowing part. The insane scale behind Grok 5. Let me paint you a picture of what we're dealing with here. The leaked specifications for Grok 5 are absolutely colossal. We're talking about a mixture of experts' architecture with roughly 6 trillion parameters. Just to put that in perspective, that's roughly double the size of Grok 4. But here's where it gets really wild. This thing is being trained on what they call the Colossus 2 supercluster. Picture this. 200,000 NVIDIA GPUs all working together. The power draw? About 1 gigawatt. That's enough electricity to power a small city. I'm not exaggerating. Literally enough to keep the lights on for tens of thousands of homes. And get this. XAI shared publicly that they ramped up the Colossus cluster to 200,000 GPUs in just 2 and 14 days. Seven months to build what might be one of the most powerful computing systems on Earth. The infrastructure alone is staggering. Now you might be thinking, okay, but what does all that computing power actually do? Great question. Because raw scale is meaningless unless it translates into real capabilities. And this is where Grok 5 starts to look genuinely different from everything else out there. What makes Grok 5 different? According to XAI, Grok 5 will have real-time multimodal understanding. That's not just marketing speak. The leaks suggest it will natively support text, images, audio, and live video streams, all processed with very low latency. We're talking about less than 120 milliseconds from input to understanding. But wait until you see this. Musk's team actually demonstrated Grok 5 watching a live 30-second drone video. In real time, it identified roughly 47 different object categories, analyzed traffic flow patterns, spotted potential hazards, plotted the shortest driving route, and issued warnings about dangers. All of that without any special tuning or training specifically for that task. It just worked out of the box. That real-time video comprehension is something very few AI systems can do today. 
Most models, even the advanced ones, treat video as a sequence of static images. They don't truly understand motion, context, and change over time the way Grok 5 apparently does. And here's another piece that sets it apart. The context window. Reports mention a native context length of about 1.5 million tokens. Compare that to GPT 5.2's 400,000 tokens, and you start to see the difference. Grok 5 could theoretically process entire books, massive code bases, or hours of conversation history in a single pass without losing track of earlier information. But the most fascinating part, and this is what could make or break Grok 5, is the live data integration. Unlike basically every other AI model, which has a fixed training cutoff date, Grok5 is continuously fed data from Twitter X. We're talking about over 100 million posts and videos per day being processed as part of its ongoing training. Musk has emphasized this live data approach repeatedly. The idea is that Grok5's knowledge stays current, updating in real time as the world changes. In theory, this means you could ask Grok5 about something that happened an hour ago, and it would know. That's fundamentally different from asking ChatGPT about recent events when its knowledge stopped being updated months ago. Now Musk also claims Grok5 will set a new record for intelligence density per GB. Essentially, they're engineering it to be more efficient and powerful per unit of compute and data than any rival. That's partly thanks to the mixture of experts' design, where only a subset of those 6 trillion parameters actually activate for any given query. But even so, we're talking about astronomical costs to train and run this thing. Will scale alone get us to AGI? Here's where we need to pause and ask the hard question that experts are debating. Musk publicly said that Grok5 has roughly a 10% chance and rising of achieving true artificial general intelligence. That's a pretty specific claim, and it's generated a lot of buzz. But is it realistic? Some analysts are calling Grok5 a high-stakes bet on scaling. The logic goes like this. If you make the model big enough, give it enough data, and throw enough compute at it, you'll eventually hit a breakthrough that leads to AGI. It's the ultimate test of whether bigger is actually better. But here's the catch. Other experts caution that brute force scaling has limits. There's research suggesting that the so-called scaling laws, the idea that performance improves predictably with size, may be reaching diminishing returns, especially on reasoning benchmarks. In other words, you can't just add more GPUs and magically unlock consciousness or general intelligence. One analysis made a fascinating historical comparison. The battleship Yamato. It was the largest, most powerful battleship ever built, an absolute engineering marvel. But by the time it launched, aircraft carriers had already changed warfare completely. The Yamato was the apex of one paradigm, but it was already obsolete. Could Grok 5 be the same? The peak of the scaling era just as we shift to a new approach to AI, time will tell. But regardless of whether it achieves AGI, Grok5 is going to be extraordinarily powerful, which raises the obvious question, how does it compare to what's already available? How Grok5 stacks up against the competition. Let's talk about the current AI landscape, because Grok5 isn't entering a vacuum. There are some seriously impressive models already out there, and each has carved out its own specialty. First up, OpenAI's GPT 5.2, which dropped in December 2025. This is currently the gold standard for professional knowledge work. It absolutely crushes tasks like coding, math, spreadsheet creation, and complex reasoning. Developers love it because it's incredibly good at using tools, code interpreters, web searching, multi-step planning. It takes text and image inputs and has a 400,000 token context window. The catch? It doesn't have native video or audio input. If you feed it a video, it treats it as a sequence of still images. And its knowledge cutoff is stuck at August 2025, so it can't tell you what happened yesterday. Then there's Google's Gemini 3 Pro, which came out in November 2025. 
Google designed this one for deep reasoning and broad multimodal understanding. It introduced something called deep think mode specifically for ultra long horizon problems that require extensive planning. Gemini 3 performs really well on knowledge tasks and complex problem solving across text and images. Google claims it outperforms previous models in reasoning, multimodality, and coding benchmarks. But like GPT, it doesn't do real-time video processing, and it's working from a fixed data set. And we can't forget Anthropic's Claude Opus 4.5, also from November 2025. This model was optimized specifically for coding, planning, and what they call agentic workflows. Users say it's exceptional at deep research, creating presentations and spreadsheets, and complex logical chains. Anthropic advertises it as the best model in the world for coding, agents, and computer use. It's incredibly efficient too. It cuts token usage by about 50% on coding tasks compared to its predecessor. But again, no special video or audio integration, and no live data feeds. So here's what we're looking at. GPT 5.2 leads in coding and agentic tasks. Gemini 3 leads in cross-modal reasoning. Claude Form 5 leads in coding efficiency and safety. Each has its lane. Grok 5's lane is different. It's betting everything on unprecedented scale combined with live data. If the promises hold up, it'll blow past the others in terms of context size and real-time world knowledge. But those other models are already very strong at tasks like document analysis and code generation. Grok 5 will need to demonstrate clear, tangible gains to justify the enormous cost difference. Because make no mistake, training and running a 6 trillion parameter model is vastly more expensive than today's GPT-4 class models. We're talking orders of magnitude higher costs per token generated, so it has to be noticeably better, not just incrementally so. What Grok 5 means for everyday users. All right, let's bring this back down to earth. What does all this technical stuff actually mean for regular people? There are two main ways most of us might encounter Grok 5, through social media and in Tesla cars. On the social media side, Grok is already deeply woven into X, formerly Twitter. Musk has described Grok as the curator of your feed. It's analyzing every post and video on the platform to personalize what you see. Right now, with the current version, Grok processes over 100 million posts and videos per day to match content to users. That's already pretty significant. But imagine what happens when Grok 5 launches with its advanced understanding. You might get dramatically smarter recommendations. You could have real conversations with Grok to shape your experience. There are reports suggesting users can already text a smart human, meaning chat with Grok, to adjust their feed preferences. After Grok 5 arrives, we could see even more dynamic features. Picture asking Grok to summarize the current news cycle, verify whether a viral claim is true, or analyze a trending video to explain what's happening. Its real-time video comprehension could let it watch live events as they unfold and give you instant context. Basically, X users could get a much more conversational, multimodal AI assistant built right into the platform. Now let's talk Tesla. Grok 4 was already activated for voice interaction in Tesla vehicles earlier in 2025. Grok 5 could take that to another level entirely. Imagine you're driving and you ask your car, what's wrong with this warning light? Or, what's that building we just passed? Or, find me an alternate route that avoids this traffic. Because Grok 5 is trained on massive amounts of video from Tesla's full self-driving cameras, it might bring genuine spatial and situational awareness to the car's AI. And here's where it gets really futuristic. Musk is working on Optimus robots and Neuralink interfaces. Both of those projects could eventually integrate with Grok 5 to provide advanced AI capabilities in robotics and even brain-computer interfaces. We're talking about a unified AI system that could potentially help with everything from household tasks to medical applications. So for everyday users, this could mean more powerful assistance in chat, voice, and potentially physical interactions. Sounds amazing, right? But hold on, there's another side to this coin. Safety and risks. 
Here's the part we need to talk about, even though it's not as exciting. All this power comes with serious risks. Analysts have raised red flags about Grok 5s real-time connection to what they call a chaotic social media stream. This is genuinely uncharted territory. Think about it. When you're continuously ingesting live user content from hundreds of millions of posts per day, you're opening the door to amplifying misinformation, bias, conspiracy theories, and worse. If the filtering isn't absolutely bulletproof, the AI could learn and spread harmful content at scale. One analysis specifically noted that this represents a monumental challenge for safety, alignment, and data governance. These aren't small problems. We're talking about fundamental questions. How do you ensure an AI trained on real-time social media doesn't become a tool for manipulation? How do you filter out harmful content without creating censorship issues? How do you maintain privacy when the AI is processing user data constantly? Users should be aware that with Grok 5, the line between AI-generated content and human content gets increasingly blurry. When the AI is learning from what people post in real time, and then those people interact with what the AI generates, you create a feedback loop that could amplify both the good and the bad. This isn't about being alarmist, it's about being realistic. The potential benefits are enormous, but so are the potential downsides. Rigorous oversight will be absolutely essential. Should you care about Grok 5? So let's wrap this up. What's the bottom line on Grok 5? We're looking at a model expected to launch in Q1 2026, likely somewhere between January and March. It's built on an absolutely massive scale, 6 trillion parameters trained on 200,000 GPUs, consuming about a gigawatt of power. The promised capabilities include a 1.5 million token context window, real-time processing of text, images, audio, and video, and continuous learning from live data streams on X and Tesla. If those specs are accurate and the system actually works as advertised, Grok 5 could deliver abilities that go far beyond what static models like GPT 5.2, Gemini 3, or Claude 4.5 can offer. The ability to understand and respond to live events as they happen, to process video in real time, to maintain context across truly massive conversations, these would be genuine breakthroughs. But, and this is a big but, we won't know if it actually works until it launches. The delay from late 2025 to early 2026 suggests they're running into serious engineering challenges. The astronomical costs mean it has to be significantly better, not just marginally so, to justify its existence. And the safety concerns around real-time social media integration are legitimate and unresolved. Musk's claim of a 10% chance of achieving AGI is provocative but experts are divided on whether scale alone can get us there. We might be witnessing the peak of one paradigm rather than the birth of a new one. For X users and Tesla owners, there's reason to be excited. You could get dramatically better AI assistance integrated directly into products you already use. For everyone else, Grok 5 will be worth watching as a test case. Can you brute force your way to transformative AI by throwing enough resources at the problem? The AI landscape is about to get very interesting in early 2026. Whether Grok 5 becomes the breakthrough everyone hopes for, or an incredibly expensive lesson in the limits of scaling, we're going to learn something important either way. If you found this breakdown helpful and you want to stay updated on AI developments as they happen, hit that subscribe button. I'm tracking all the major releases and I'll let you know the moment Grok 5 actually drops and whether it lives up to the hype. Drop a comment below. Do you think throwing 200,000 GPUs at the problem will unlock AGI, or is this the Yamato of AI models? I'd love to hear your take. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.